good. It needs a little bit more twist to it. Should not be a problem, really. Can you see the part right here? Yeah, and again, I'm taking the handle of the file to just give this a little bit, just the tiniest bit more of pressure. Yeah. Okay, this is nice. This is probably now too much, but you can bend it back. That's not so that's not so difficult. You just need a curve with a bigger diameter. So you can see this now. Okay. There's where, where it should go. And you can see this is not fitting. But I can open the bend now by taking a bigger diameter mandrel. Um, see? This is the this is the handle and this is the next mandrel. You should if you're building ship models then you need some of these in different diameters because you'll need these to correct your work. This is just like very nice and easy rolling just to give it a bigger curve just to reshape the part it up. By the way, I'm not having much of a problem handling the, the photo edge parts with my fingers. Just like, just we need to be careful not to apply too much pressure. Whoops. That happens to me too. And sometimes the carpet monster gets the better of me. But um, of course I'm trying to avoid it as best as I can. I'm sure, as, I'm sure you're doing the same thing. Okay, this looks good. Now I can see that the the part conforms to the deck nicely. That is very good. That was right on the mark. Just needed to shift just a little bit. Okay, I can see that this part will be fit nice will be fitting nicely. It's just the question if there's more need to bend back. Yes, I just need to open the curve just a tad bit more. That was the mandrel I was working with. Next mandrel is a bigger diameter. Now I've got to be very careful because if I'm pushing too much, I'm reversing the process just. This is very gentle, very gentle rolling. Only the top part. This is probably already too much. So it's a trial and error all the time. And uh, if you want a precision, if you want to have a precision model, there's not much in the way of going around a procedure like that. Okay, this is good. I like it. Just need to make sure that the parts attach to each other neatly. Okay. Okay, I can see. I can see that the uh, butt ends of the railing in the curved side are just a tad bit too long. Really, just a tad. So again, I'm removing the model, and then I go back to the. I go back to the glass plate. Ah, by the way, if you work on glass plates and you and you want to save on the on the um, on the blade, actually, you can put a piece of Tamiya tape, for example, in the place where you cut, so as to s keep your blade sharp. Okay. Now this is this is going to be obstructed from your view. It's just like I'm trimming off about a millimeter. of all four butt ends. Probably heard the click. This is a good sign. If you don't hear me swearing, then it's probably worked out. By the way, my wife is never around when I do my modeling because I do tend to use some colorful language. 
while I'm working because I'm not always on the mark and I get dissatisfied very easily and this is perfect all right good now again take the take the railing take the toothpick use the gel type super glue along the lower edge of the railing and on the end that connects to the wall this for a better position of my hand easier access and there you go hitting the mark right away now taking care that the lower bar of the railing is really touching the deck everywhere very nice love it now again soft pen Tipped soft pen and white glue. Now, very neat trick is to reconnect each open stub of the railing to the connecting piece. The white glue will do that for you and uh, it'll give the perfect illusion after repainting that everything is good. Now again, trace the lower edge to close any gaps, to avoid any shadows or disconnections. All right, very nice going. Of course, this railing is now very easily accessible, so I don't have to repaint the, um, the parts that were stripped off the paint by the mandrel. I can do that now. Just uh, picking up a little bit of paint with a small brush and then do the touch up. Yeah, even on the inside. Sorry if that is obstructing your view now, but I should have done that before gluing the railing down, but this time it's okay because I have good access to it from the back side. Now this is perfectly touched up and exactly the way I want it to be. Now the super glue in the first railing piece that we had attached has dried. Now I trace along the same line to cover up the white glue and connect the lowest bar of the railing to the deck. We can do this right here already now. There should be no wood showing on the outside of the foot rail. Okay, that's perfect, love it. And tell you the truth, this doesn't go this well all the time. Of course, having done uh, a few ships in my time, I can tell you this is uh, a procedure which can be more tedious, but uh, this was, this one went on pretty well. I'm quite satisfied with it. Yeah, and uh, you can see this has to go along all the edges of the deck down here up here and so on and so forth of course all the decks on the outside here all these need railing um, with small parts actually i try always to go from from vertic vertical um, uh, support to vertical support that every edge has a vertical support um, in a ship you'll find uh, solid steel railings uh, on the upper parts of the superstructure though so there's no problem if you bend things like these usually 
on the edge of the main deck, you'll find um, you'll find uh, a stanchion and ro stanchion and rope or stanchion and um, chain railings, and these do not go around bends. These always connect straight from one stanchion to another. So uh, there should be a different way of treating it as well. They should be differently painted uh, between the, uh, the stanchion and the rope. Uh, as said, in the superstructure, usually these are made out of solid steel and they are bent and they are all the same color. So uh, no problem here to have them looking as such. Uh, all right, um, I think he, this is it for the demonstration today. And you can see this has been taken forever. Yeah, so uh, this is a really, really long video. I hope you understand why it's so difficult for me to uh, keep the schedule of the um, of the contest. And I hope you will excuse that I will be concentrating on finishing this now uh, because this is going to take a long, long time to finish now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye.